Sasses, and welcome to the Silly's Garden Fox with Kamat to Mula to meet Charlie. How are you, my friend? Very well, thank very you. Good. How are you? I'm very well too myself. Good. Now, this is your... My grandson. Your uh, grandson. Eddie. 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 How are you going, buddy? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah. Now, thank you for having us here. We've come yeah. out to check out... You know, this is a very particular garden here because this is just not a backyard for yourself anymore. Yeah. This is one where you've been sharing for a lot of people. Now, yeah. how long have you been here? In Australia. Oh, well, yeah. Um, Australia. Here. Yeah, here in Australia. Yeah, I bought this place in 1960. 1960? Yeah. Okay. 40... That's 50, 50, 58 50, years ago. 58 years ago. And you were married then? Yes. And you, So you basically grew up the whole family here? Yes, this is a family all is two born here and then one born in Cyprus. Oh, Cyprus. So you're Cypriot background? Yes. Yeah. So you've been gardening all your life? Yes, I'm yeah. the gardener. Even at the, my country, I used to grow, grow a bit of wheat, you know, the selling the cooperative, you know, these. Yeah. What sort wheat. of wheat? Wheat. Wheat. Ah. wheat. I was worried that yeah, you were Not the barley wheat. Oh, the, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go and have a look around. We won't waste any more time here. You yeah. go and show me the garden, what you do, and yeah. then we can talk to Eddie afterwards too. Yes. All okay. right. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, folks. We're going to check out Charlie's garden. This is your hot house. Yes. You built this one? Yeah. How old is it? This one here? Yeah, the hot house. Uh, maybe about this, um, 12 years, 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And what are you growing here? Uh, first we used to grow these uh, cucumbers. Yes. Continental. Yeah. You Late, do a good job? Yes. Yeah. That they do good. And then is a... Uh, Later on, we put the zucchini in it, you know, there's a... Zucchini? Yeah. Yeah. It's grow, all right? Yeah, every time is a summer crop early grow, yeah. grow here in, yeah. in hot Comes hairs. always earlier. Hot oh, yeah. So I can and see you have irrigation down now. Yeah. Yeah, what are you growing in here now? What are you preparing? Beans. Beans? In here. Yeah, climbing beans? Is, is no, or just a little one, but oh, dwarf. we don't like in hot airs is um, the climbing beans because it's uh, falling down. Okay. But the short one, easy. Easy to grow? Yeah, yeah. What is the soil like here? What type of it's soil is this? Half a sandy soil, you know, sand and soil mix. I don't see any compost, any manure. You put manure here? Yeah, it's, uh, we put the uh, sheep manure in, okay. in here or outside the crop too. I like what you do here is with the, the drip system, the water pipe. It yeah. makes it much easier to look after. You, the, the reason you know the same in Verobin, the big is, is, is nice. sprinkler, you know, yeah. he, he, and yeah. you wasting too much water. The, the here you don't waste about 10 minutes it's enough. Finished. Done. Enough. Then in every second day, you, you, you can put water, the water again. again. And it goes down below where it yeah, needs to go. Yeah. Yeah. And no yes. disease? No. Perfect. No, no, no disease. So what do you do every day here? What do you do? What do you like to do? This place here, we start a long time ago, you know? Yeah. And then it's a lake on it, I say we build up the hotels. What about Eddie? Is he a good boy? Oh, he, he is the best. He's the for, best? For me. For you? <laughs> for me, he's the best. He helps you all the time? Yes. He, yeah. He's helped me and, and then he's a... You drive the tractors yeah, and he the told machines, me. you know. If you're looking to compost your garden this springtime, folks, well, you can't go past Hal's Seagreens Premium Compost. Hal's Seagreens Premium Compost is a scientifically blended mix of composted pine bark, composted hardwood sawdust, cow manure, Maranova organic seaweed extract, and coir peat. All of these certified organic materials are naturally composted for up to 12 weeks with constant monitoring of the core temperatures and nutrient levels to ensure the microbes are busy breaking down organic matter during the thermophilic composting stage. It's low Locally made from organic sustainable inputs, it's Tasmania's only certified organic compost made to Australian standards. With over 30 years experience in the horticultural and landscaping industry, Hal's, the makers of Seagreens products, has become a leader in producing high quality compost, soil conditioners and growing media for the Australian market. Seagreens premium organic compost can be applied as a soil conditioner for very light mulching and soil incorporation or applied up to about 15mm in thickness throughout the garden as a composted mulch. It's available 
available in 30 litre bags from a range of leading nurseries and hardware stores throughout the states. So to ensure your garden gets the best chance this springtime to grow and flourish, make sure you feed it with Hal's Seagreens Premium Organic Compost from Eva Silly, Maresi. If you like Vasili's Garden, then you'll love the spring edition of Vasili's Garden to Kitchen magazine. Available at all good news agencies. Subscribe now at vasilisgarden.com. The trilogy is ginger, garlic and oregano. Now, when we're looking at these three foods, we are able to convert them and put them into medicines by making a tea. Now, you can get an infusion spoon such as this one and you just have it spring open, pack in here with the leaves of the herb, close it down and pop it into a cup of boiling water. You would get some ginger as an example and you would grate the ginger and again you could put it in here and have a mild tasting ginger or you could have the king of infusion mugs. It's actually quite deep as you can see so you can really pack in quite a lot of the herb and then allow it to steep and through the dome the distillation process, the steam drops back down into the cup. Garlic we start putting that in because it is an antibiotic. So if you're trying to recover from an illness, particularly viruses and things like that, and the body is just struggling, and you're getting starting to get quite a lot of mucus, and it's going a little bit of a funny color, then we need to start getting into some garlic. The ginger is a warming, a beautiful warming tonic. It's a blood thinner, but it's also able to break down debris that goes down through the body. Particularly you get a lot of that phlegm up around the chest, we start bringing in our garlic. But oregano, what about when we get those headaches from viruses? Oregano tea is a beautiful preparation to be able to settle down headaches. It is also a lovely tonic. So you can mix and match this and put it through food. You could put it through salads. You can actually break the leaves off and toss it through some steamed leafy greens. See the way that we can start immersing ourselves into applying our herbs into foods to help our body recover. Too often we go and reach for the pill or the potion and often your cure is actually in your pantry. So folks, until next time, please find happiness in every moment and stay tuned to get more healthy tips from the Herbal Medicine Gallery that we will be putting out there for you. Sinead, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. This is a beautiful shop. Thank you. Yeah, how long have you been here? Um, so my brother and I have owned the business for 10 years. Okay, so you started from scratch? Uh, no, our grandparents had the business for 55 years, however, my grandma got unwell, so therefore my brother and I took over and, you know, we renovated the business, tried to make it as convenient as we could for customers. It's beautiful. And, um, yeah. And this is a result of it, so you serve yes. coffee here as well? Yes, and, we do coffee. And all this produce here, like the silver beet, is straight from the garden, yes. I believe, yeah. Yep. So your grandfather and your brother get involved. Do you get involved out in the garden? Uh, not too much. Go on, a little <laughs> bit, just a little bit. Uh, Did you ever get out there with a tractor? And yeah, some I mean, plowing? growing up, being a part of it, it's like in our blood. So, yeah. you know, as little kids, we've been in the garden or, you know, um, with our grandparents. Or... So it's part of your so, life. Yes, it really yeah, is. definitely, yeah. And you, it's been a passion for you to get back involved and take over the business and keep yeah, it growing? definitely. And also because um, we do find it very important um, you know, because you just don't find it as much now, but you know, having the farm, growing the fresh fruit and veggies and, you know, basically cutting it and it's on our shelf and to be able to deliver good, um, you know, fresh produce to our customers and we love to, um, you know, have them enjoy it as yeah. much as we do. So, That's it. Yeah. And it's, it, is, it is important for people to realise how fresh it is and, and notice and taste the difference between 
yes. what's fresh and what isn't fresh out there. Yeah. So my grandparents, when they came out to Australia, my grandma actually brought a box of mandarins and put it on the side of the road and yeah. the mandarins sold. So my grandpa was told to go get more boxes of mandarins. <laughs> she got excited. And that's where the fruit shop actually started from. So, yeah. you know, we are on a busy highway yeah. and we do get a lot of traffic. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah. That's great. And now they all stop over. Do you put the box of mandarins still out there? Maybe you should. <laughs> Customers coming for the box of mandarins now. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Follow all the best with it too. So it's called Eddie's Fresh Fruit and Veggies. I've just written the sign out there. Thank you for shopping. Thank you very much. Keep up the great work and I hope it grows bigger and better for you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>
1927, 1927. I born. 1927. That yeah. is hard to absorb. Yes. In this day and age, to think of nine, what? How much have you seen change from the day you were born till today? Well, what have you seen? I mean, you've seen the world literally, mm -hmm. the, the evolution of uh, society. Be believe me, this world was like a dream. It was like a dream. What, what you see last night, then I forgot. It's gone. <laughs> no more. <laughs> it's like a dream. And the only thing that keeps true for you is the vegetable garden. Uh, the, even there, the same thing. Just temporarily over there, yeah. next month not there. <laughs> it's all just a bit of fun, isn't it, Passion? Yeah, it is You're enjoying yourself. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I do. Yes. Is a. Not my job, but I like to do it. Yeah, it's not a job for you, is it's it? A job, right? no, it's a part of your life kind of yeah. style, your yeah. life skills. Yeah. If you enjoy watching Vasili's Garden, well, I'm proud to announce that you now can become a Vasili's Garden member. All you need to do is go to our website and sign up today at vasilisgarden.com. So what do you get by becoming a member? Well, you get four new issues of our magazine per year, released seasonally and delivered right to your door. Plus, online access to all our magazine back copies that are packed full of great stories, gardening advice and delicious recipes as well. But wait, it doesn't stop there. By becoming a member, you also receive access to all our previous TV episodes from 72 as well as our C31 and SBS series as well. That includes all the guests and places I've been to, all things natural with Dr. Sandy Rogers, healthy habits with Eleni, and great gardening tips from our friend Jason. Become a member and you'll have access to our members only discount. That's up to 50% off our online products. That's right, folks, up to 50% off guaranteed. All the gardening advice, entertainment, and products you need available to you all at the one place. That's VasiliesGarden.com. From me, Vasili, Aresi. Healthy Habits Smoothies Book is now available at all QBD bookstores or online at VasiliesGarden.com. So what's a man like you doing on a farm like this, honestly? What inspired you? Uh, I used to see my grandfather always um, growing his veggies and all that. And yeah. I just, I was actually enjoying like helping him out on yeah. the farm. And then I decided to get into something like this. But you were doing something beforehand, you were Were you working elsewhere? Uh, pretty much like I was working with my stepdad as well. Yep. But we just wanted to take over the farm and do like grow fresh veggies and put it on my shelf and But I heard your mother earlier saying to me, she goes, Yeah, you say you said to her, Look, I want to take over the farm and she said, But you've you've got a good job already. But you said, No, I love this place, it's been a dream of yours. Yeah? Yeah, I do love it. Like, I know it's tough and difficult to grow and survive as a farm person, yeah. you know, this, this day and age, because, you know, the, the high bills and there's not a lot of government support. No, there isn't. That's the thing. The, is the government doesn't help you out. Like, with us, we have to do drip system yeah. to water our plants. Yeah. And the thing is, because... We and this is all town water? It's We use tank water, yeah. but sometimes when we run out, yeah. we have to use the town water to top up because yeah. we can't let all our crop go yeah. to waste. And drip system is a lot better in respect by comparison yeah, to overhead yeah, spray. I'm, How much land have you got out uh, here? We pretty much we got about 15 acres. Okay. So where are we now? What are we standing in here? We've got broad beans. Yeah, fresh broad beans. Oh, these ones, look yeah. at these flowers, eh? Yeah. So how big do these come? Uh, we They do come up about this, this out, probably that high, yep. but they go tall, but we end up trimming them down yep. and to get a um, better... good crop out of them. Yeah, so take yeah. the tops off, yep. and you get bigger pods. You get bigger, bigger yeah. pods, yeah. How heavy do you pod? And uh, you get about seven in the pod. That's huge. Yeah. That's a good size. Yeah, <laughs> you do get good ones yeah. out of it. You've learnt a lot from your grandfather, haven't you? Yes, I have, yeah. yeah. Has he shared everything, do you think so? So far, uh, he's still got plenty to. <laughs> oh, there's still plenty to learn off him. Tell me about this field here. What have you been doing here? Uh, we had a broccoli there, yep. but we ended up um, like putting the the dish through it to yep. chop it all up to break okay. it up. Okay. And then what we do is we just let it like pretty much right here, yeah. yeah. and then we'll get the rotary home, mix it in. Okay, and so then you dig it back into it. Yeah, and then we do our rows. All right. And then we start planting again. Put our drip systems out. Yep. And we do growing again. So you actually pack up the whole drift system, obviously. Yeah, we have to, yeah. yeah. And then just relay it out once relay it's all ready. It Fresh veggies to our customers. That's yeah. what we've got to do. We've got well, to do all the work involved the, in it. The proof is right in front of them. So they turn up to the, the, the storefront there. Yep. They can see exactly where it's coming from. Yeah, that's it. You know, at the moment, you've got broad beans coming along, we've broccoli, got, um, kale. We've got um, Tuscan kale. Yep. We've got the normal kale. Yep. We've got the um, leeks coming as well. Yep. And yeah. soon we'll, the, in the season we'll start planting out more capsigans and cucumbers all that summer. Yeah, all summer crop. And it's it's the best time. Yeah. <laughs> Good joy. So you got another hot house here, mate. Yeah. Yeah, you're keeping this one a secret for me. What are you doing in here? Tell me about it. 
Uh, we've actually, um, we've pruned the, we had a crop out of this one and we pruned it ready for the, the next crop. Okay, so we're talking cucumbers? Uh, these are capsicums. <laughs> <laughs> these are capsicums from last year, yeah. last spring, summer. Summer, yeah. Yeah, and we've just got, we're in spring now and these are looking as healthy as ever. Because yeah. they're undercover, they're well protected. And you're going to keep this for year after year for at least, what, four or five years, hoping? Yeah, I'll, I'll see how it goes. First time, is it? This is my first time we're giving it a go, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how you're we go. You're going to love it. You know, everybody else will be planting their capsicum plants and it'll take them at least, <laughs> what, two months for them to come up and they'll be, their first crop will start in January. You'll be yep. picking in October, man. You'll be, you'll be, yeah, you're, you're going to love these. These, look at the thickness on these things. Cutting them back is the trick to it all, so you get rid of those old, um, yeah. young sprouts because you find those tips can burn or just dry out a little bit and that just pushes the energy back into the root zone to grow stronger. Now a little bit of a drip feed. Yeah, they give it a, the key to it all is you got to, to get the nice sweet taste, yeah. you've got to give it water. Yeah. And that's the yeah. thing, you you just got to give it like what they need. Yeah, rest assured the warm weather will come and you'll be begging for the cold weather again. <laughs> Now, just before we go, mate, I've got an easy hand spray to give you for your garden, so you can look after all your plants. Put it on one of those uh, soft drink bottles, so you can recycle Perfect. your plastic bottles. Now, it's got a double nozzle on it. You can spray up and down at the same time. That's unreal, yeah, that Yeah, you can have a bit hey. of fun with that, eh? During the Good hot toys. days. Now, this is black grit. It's a calcium magnesium infused granular uh, fertilizer. You can apply it to all your plants for better fruit, better flavour, better flowers and all that stuff too. Well, I can't wait to give this a go. It may be not enough for the whole yeah, area, but do yeah. some trials on the little ones. Yeah. And a magazine too that we publish every season out there for you. Whoa. We're going to have your grandfather in there with yourself too, so coming up. Oh, all right. Good. There you go. Thank you very much for You're coming welcome. out as no, well. And thanks I've for having had us. a good day today with you. I'm glad you enjoyed. And, yeah, I have. Thank it's you not very over much, yet, mate. We've got to get you to do the big Zorba dance. Are you up for it? All right, sounds good. <laughs> well, let's go get okay. the others. If you're spraying your capsicums, for example, on the underside of the leaves, yeah, underneath. That's yeah, you just unreal. get down there like that and That's, just spray them. This is unreal, man. Yeah. Good idea. Yep. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's perfect, isn't it? That, that's yeah, unreal. Pleasure, mate. Thank you very much. Lots man. of fun with that. Mardesi. What do we say? Mardesi. <laughs> Maresi, see you next week.